What is going on guys? Welcome back to your third UDK tutorial and in this tutorial I want to talk to you guys a little bit more about the user interface specifically these big four boxes that take up the majority of your screen these things called viewports. Now before I even get started I want to say this if your screen looks like this right here then what you need to do is you need to hit this restore it's basically a minimize button and what that does is it takes you to your default four viewport screen now the four viewport screen is typically it's basically the way we're going to be working most of the time sometimes when we're working with one of these views we want to maximize them in order to get you know the nitty-gritty detail but most of the time we're just going to be working like this this is kind of the default view in the UDK so with that being said let me talk to you guys about viewports each of these viewports right here they're basically just different views different angles where you can view your model this is the side view well actually let me go ahead and build an object real quick I know you guys don't know how to build objects but if you want to follow along go ahead and click this linear linear staircase button and then go ahead and hit this CSG add that's going to give you a nice little staircase that you build and again this tutorial isn't about building objects so I just did that so we have something nice to look at on the screen if you didn't follow along with that don't worry so basically to the viewports like I said all these viewports are are different angles in which we can view a model so this angle right here is the side view the top left this angle in the top right is the front view looking at your model from the front this view in the bottom right is the top view it's kinda of like the bird's eye view if you were on top or looking at it from an airplane and this in the bottom left is obviously it's called the perspective view it allows you to change your camera move it around basically look at it any way you want it to so as you can see these viewports are basically just different views different angles in which you can look at the same model so with that being said I want to say this I already talked to you guys about if you know you want to do some nitty gritty work on this view right here you can go ahead and maximize it that's one way where you can change the size of this window or the view another way is you can go ahead and hover over it's basically just like resizing if you're familiar with resizing windows on Microsoft Windows go ahead and hover over any of these viewports and you can drag it to make it bigger up and down or hover over in between here and move it left and right so with that being said that's how you can resize your viewports and one other thing I want to mention when it comes to viewports is this anytime you let's say you I don't know something went wrong and your viewports messed up or maybe you're working on someone else's computer and you want to get it back to default anytime you want to get it back to default go ahead and hit view viewport configuration and this will give you all the configurations where you can configure your viewport for example if you want a 1 1 horizontal split some people might like working like that and by the way the default is the viewport configuration 2 2 split this gives you two viewports on top two on bottom so that's basically all the main core aspects of the viewport in the next tutorial I'm going to be talking to you guys about this thing right here this is the viewport toolbar now just a little teaser for the next tutorial every viewport comes with its own viewport toolbar and this allows you to customize how you can view and how you can work with the view inside the viewport so that's what we're going to be covering in the next tutorial so now that we know the basics of the viewport we're ready to move on to that so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video